7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is monitoring conditions east of Denver, including those highway closures we talked about. Let's start, though, with meteorologist Matt Makins in the 24-7 Weather Center. Matt, is this weather going to stick around for our whole weekend? Well, most of the heavy snowfall is going to be done, but we're going to stay cloudy, kind of cold throughout the weekend, and we'll have some light snow returning for tomorrow. Right now, the heaviest snow is from Ray down to Burlington. This area right here, nearly two feet of snow with a lot of drifting. Still some light pockets of flurry activity across the Denver Metro. Most of the front range is quieter, but there's still a little bit of uh, more organized light snowfall. Here is I-70 south of there. You can see some of these streamers of snow. That probably about another half inch, maybe one, but really most of what you're seeing at your windows is just the blowing snow. Speaking of the metro area, we averaged all the snowfall reports coming in today, so you may have slightly more or less in Thornton, but ballpark average is nine inches there. Golden 10, Aurora 10, Highlands Ranch, Parker, eight to nine, the same in Littleton, a little bit more as you get into the uh, right up against the uh, mountains and the range. Boulder, Really an average of eight, but if you're west of Boulder, you had closer to a foot, if not 14 inches, and across the front range, Greeley had the least amount. Five inches, six in Fort Collins, 11 in Elizabeth, about seven out in Lyman, and Fort Morgan at 10. Quite a bit of snow fell today. It's great moisture, but it is not leaving anytime soon. We don't return to freezing until the middle part of the upcoming week. That's why the roads will stay so bad. New information about a massive pileup on I-25 near Johnson's Corner that's had the interstate shut down for most of the day. Tonight, that interstate finally back open. This video posted on YouTube shortly after it happened. Look at this. Shows one of the semis, one of four involved, engulfed in flames. At least 50 vehicles were involved. One big rig driver telling us people were driving way too fast for the near whiteout conditions. Uh, we've had cars that have been just flying by and, you know, even some trucks. And uh, I've been behind people and Seeing people coming alongside me on their computers and uh, everything else, and people just need to slow down. It's dangerous out here. Uh. Seven News crews on the scene seeing one vehicle after another crushed by the chain reaction impact. We know several people were taken to area hospitals with injuries. So far, no reports of any deaths. The driver of the truck that you saw on fire is going to be okay. Right now, our team coverage continues. Storm Tracker 7 giving us a live look at area roadways. This is exactly what you can expect if you head outside in Denver right now. Road conditions pretty dicey south of town as well. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson live east of Denver on I-70, where parts of the interstate have been closed for much of the day. And Molly, you're also seeing some massive snowdrifts out there. And those snow drifts are exactly why I-70 eastbound is closed from this point all the way to Kansas. Now, that's 400 miles of roadway. We're actually standing on I-70 right now. Now, crews have been out here all day. If you take a look right over here, you can see they've been stopping traffic, telling people they need to turn around. The por this portion of the interstate closed because of wind gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. Now, west of here, Roads snow packed and icy. We've seen several slide offs. Tow trucks have been out pulling cars off the road. We've seen a couple of semis lined up on the side of the interstate just simply waiting to see if they can get through here. And back here live at the I 70 closure, plows are literally making hot laps down the westbound lanes. We've seen them continually working to clear the roads. Now there's a lot of slush on the roadways. Uh, but as those temperatures drop tonight, all of this is going to turn to ice, creating some treacherous driving conditions out here. Reporting live, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.